everyone this is Shantini from Edureka and in today's session we will talk about stemming and lamentization. So before we begin the session let's have a look at today's agenda. So we will start with the definition of natural language processing and then move on and have a look at the components of NLP. Further we will see what is stemming and what is lamentization. Moving on we will also have a look at some of the applications of stemming and lamentization. Finally, we will wrap this session with the differences between the two. So let's begin. The human language is a mystery with over 6500 languages worldwide. When a language contains words that are derived from another word as their use in the speech changes is called inflected language. Now almost all the languages have this feature and most of them are inflected language. According to industry estimates, only 21% of the available data is present in structured form. Data is being generated as we speak, as we tweet, as we send messages on WhatsApp or Instagram or iMessaging and in various other activities. Now majority of this data exists in the textual form which is highly unstructured in nature. Now in order to produce significant and actionable insights from text data, it is important to get acquainted with the techniques and principles of text mining and natural language processing. So let's understand these terms. So let's begin with text mining. Text mining or text analytics is the process of deriving meaningful information from natural language text. As text mining refers to the process of deriving high quality information from the text. Now the overall goal is essentially to turn text into data for analysis via application of natural language processing. Now natural language processing refers to AI method of communicating with an intelligent systems using a natural language. So here are the different steps involved in the process of NLP. So we have tokenization, stemming, lemmatization, POS tags, named entity recognition and chunking. So today our focus will be on stemming and lemmatization. Now the degree of inflection may be higher or lower in a language. As you have read the definition of inflection with respect to grammar, you can understand that an inflected word will have a common root form. Stemming and lemmatization have been studied and algorithms have been developed in computer science since the 1960s. In this video, you will learn about stemming and lemmatization in a practical approach covering the background, some famous algorithms, applications of stemming and lemmatization, and how to stem and lemmatize words, sentences, and documents using the Python NLTK package, which is the natural language toolkit package provided by Python for natural language processing tasks. Now stemming and lemmatization are text normalization techniques in the field of natural language processing that are used to prepare text words and documents for further processing. And these are widely used in tagging systems indexing SEO web search results and information retrieval. Now for example searching for the word miss on Google will also result in misses missing as miss is basically the stem of both these words. So let's start with stemming. Now stemming is the process of reducing inflection in words to their root forms such as mapping a group of words to the same stem even if the stem itself is not a valid word in the language. Now there are English and non-English stemmers available in NLTK package. Now for the English language you can choose between Porter stemmer and Lancaster stemmer. Porter stemmer being the oldest one originally developed in 1979. Lancaster stemmer was developed in 1990 and uses a more aggressive approach than Porter stemming algorithm. So let's try out the Porter stemmer to stem words and along with it you will see how it is stemming the words. So this is how the code for Porter stemmer works. Now Porter stemmer uses suffix stripping to produce stems. Porter stemmer algorithm does not follow linguistics rather a set of five rules for different cases that are applied in phases to generate stems. Now this is the reason why Porter stemmer does not often generate stems that are actual English words. Now it does not keep a lookup table for actual stems of the word but applies algorithmic rules to generate stems. It also uses the rules to decide whether it is wise to strip a suffix. Now one can generate its own set of rules for any language. That is why Python NLTK introduced 
snowball stemmers that are used to create non English stemmers. So why do we use it now? Porta stemmer is known for its simplicity and speed. It is commonly useful in information retrieval environments known as IR environments for fast recall and fetching of search queries such as for words like connections connected connecting or connection. All of these words mean connect. Now the Lancaster stemmer is an iterative algorithm with rules saved externally. Lancaster stemmer is simple but heavy stemming due to iterations and overstemming may occur. Now overstemming causes the stems to be not linguistic or they may have no meaning at all. So now let's have a look at the Lancaster stemmer code. For example, in above code destabilized is stemmed to DEST in Lancaster stemmer, whereas using Porter stemmer destable. Now Lancaster stemmer produces an even shorter stem than Porter because of iterations and overstemming is occurred. So you can stem sentences and documents using NLTK stemmers using the following code. So as you see, the stemmer sees the entire sentence as a word, so it runs it as it is. Now we need to stem each word in the sentence and return a combined sentence. Now to separate the sentence into words, you can use tokenizer. The NLTK tokenizer separates the sentence into words. So let's see how it's done. Now to stem a document, we need to do the following steps. First, we have to take a document as the input. Next, we have to read the document line by line and then tokenize the line. Next, we have to stem the words and finally we will output the stemmed words. So let's do some coding now. Open a file that is any text file. So I have a text file named deep learning and you have to provide your complete file path in open command of Python if it is stored in any other directory. Now you can see the content of the file using the dot read method altogether. Now you can maintain the lines in a file in a Python list using read lines method. You can now access each line and use the tokenize stem sentence function that you created before to tokenize and stem the line. Now you can save the stemmed sentence to a text file using Python write lines function. Make a list first to store all the stemmed sentences and simply write the list to the file using write line. So the text file created will be as follows. Python NLTK provides not only two English stemmers, that is Porter stemmer and Lancaster stemmer, but also a lot of non English stemmers as part of Snowball stemmers. ISRI stemmer RSLP stemmer now Python NLTK included snowball stemmers as a language to create non English stemmers currently it supports the following languages Danish Dutch English French German and much more now lemmatization unlike stemming reduces the inflected words properly ensuring that the root word belongs to the language in lemmatization root word is called lemma. A lemma is the canonical form dictionary form or the citation form of a set of words. Now it takes into consideration the morphological analysis of the words to do so. It is necessary to have detailed dictionaries which the algorithm can look through to link the form back to its lemma. For example, a lemmatizer should map gone going and went into go. Now Python NLTK provides WordNet lemmatizer that uses the WordNet database to look up lemmas of words. So let's have a look at the code. Now in the above output, you must be wondering that no actual root form has been given for any word. This is because they are given without context. Now you need to provide the context in which you want to lemmatize that is the parts of speech. Remember when we were learning about the different steps in NLP POS tag was an important step in the whole process. Now this is done by giving the value for POS parameter in wordnet lemmatizer dot lemmatize. So let's have a look at some of the applications of stemming and lemmatization. The first one is sentiment analysis. 
Now sentiment analysis is the analysis of people's reviews and comments about something. It is widely used for analysis of products on online retail shops. Now stemming and lemmatization is used as part of the text preparation process before it is analyzed. Next up is document clustering. Now document clustering is the application of cluster analysis to textual documents. It has applications in an automatic document organization, topic extraction and fast information retrieval or filtering. Next one is information retrieval environments. Now it is useful to use stemming and lemmatization to map documents to common topics and display search results by indexing when documents are increasing to mind boggling numbers. Now you may be asking yourself when should I use stemming and when should I use lemmatization? Now stemming and lemmatization both generate the root form of the inflected words. The difference is that stem might not be an actual word, whereas lemma is an actual language word. Now stemming follows an algorithm with steps to perform on the words, which makes it faster. Whereas in lemmatization, you use word net corpus and a corpus for stop words as well to produce lemma, which makes it slower than stemming. You also have to define a parts of speech to obtain the correct lemma. So when to use what? Now the above points show that if speed is focused, then stemming should be used since lemmatizers scan a corpus which consumes time and processing. Now it depends on the application that you're working on that decides if stemmers should be used or lemmatizers. Now if you're building a language application in which language is important, you should use lemmatization as it uses a corpus to match root forms. So with this, we come to an end of this video. I hope you guys understood the various steps involved in NLP, the different types of stemmers and how lemmatization works and most importantly, where to use which function. So do let us know about your opinion in the comment section below. Till then, thank you and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!